Have you ever wondered what to do, or maybe more importantly, what not to do in a job interview? So a week or so ago, I posted a video all about resumes and cover letters, and now this is the follow-up. So say you got the job interview. Yay! Good job! Now what do you do? Panic! Okay, but don't panic. I've got some tips and tricks for you for interviewing, and I'll start again with a caveat that this is all based on my own experience with conducting a lot of job interviews, and I'll share some of the things I really like to see, as well as some of the things I really don't. Hopefully this will help you prepare a little bit for your job interview. Do be early but not too early. Usually people say about 10 or 15 minutes before the job interview begins is when you should show up. I would say give yourself at least an additional 15 to 20 minutes of buffer time to get to the job interview site than you would normally give yourself. Basically you wanna be there and be comfortable and be able to review any notes that you have and prepare yourself so you're not running in frazzled at the last minute. But you don't wanna show too early cause that has the potential to be kind of awkward, especially if you show up an hour before your job interview and you just have to sit there. If you get there more than 10 or 15 minutes ahead of time, I'd recommend going and getting a cup of coffee or taking a walk. Do ask questions. Ask lots of questions. This job interview is not just an opportunity for your potential employer to ask you a bunch of questions. It's also an opportunity for you to ask them a bunch of questions so that you get a sense for whether or not you actually fit in this job position. As I mentioned in my other video about cover letters and resumes, do your research. Make sure you've spent a lot of time on the organization's website, gotten your hands on as much reading material as possible to prepare yourself to not only answer questions, but also to ask them. And you might have some standard questions about job space, or desks or that sort of thing, but you should also be prepared to ask some deeper questions about the position itself. Maybe you might ask something like, what's a typical day like for a person working in this position? Or what are the biggest opportunities that this position affords? Or what are the biggest challenges people face in this position? You can get a lot of information about a potential employer by their answers to these kinds of questions. Maybe it's a new position that they don't know anything about, but chances are that they'll probably have a pretty good idea of what the challenges and opportunities and landscape looks like. Asking these questions is a really great way to get a sense for whether or not you actually fit in this job. I mean, maybe you walk out of the interview and you think, oh man, dodged a bullet there. And that's why asking questions is so important. Do write a follow-up email or thank you note or something. This used to be a standard practice, but I think it's like not anymore. And I don't really understand why. The follow-up email or thank you note is not only your opportunity to convey your thanks and gratitude for being called in for an interview, but it's also one last opportunity to make the connection in that employer's mind as to why you are the best candidate for the job. Don't pass up that opportunity. It's like a free extra five minutes. And what should that email look like? Sentence one. Thank you so much for the opportunity to come and talk to your organization about this position. Sentence two, I really appreciated getting to learn a little bit more about the position and I'm excited about the opportunities to do X, Y, and Z. Pick three things that you think are cool about the job. Sentence three, I believe I am a great candidate for this job position. You can leave it at that or you can add an X, Y, Z to that too. Sentence four, thank you again and I look forward to speaking with you more in the future. Email done. It takes five minutes. Seriously though, this email is so important. It leaves a really great impression in your potential employer's mind about you and your willingness and your excitement to be a part of their organization. Don't. As a general rule, don't be too casual in your interview. And this goes both for the things that you say, but especially for the way that you dress. Granted, there are some places where being casual is more common than being more formal, but I still recommend for the interview purposes to dress professionally. Don't. Don't come empty handed. And I don't mean you have to bring gifts. I mean, bring a pen and a piece of paper. Basically, it's really impressive to a potential employer if you bring a pen and a piece of paper and jot down notes throughout the interview. It's even better if you come and it's clear that you have a page of notes already going about all of the research that you did ahead of time. And even if these are notes that you're never gonna use again, it sends a message to your potential employer that you're committed and you're listening and you're thoughtful about the things that you're talking about. Don't. Don't be shocked by really standard questions. This is what I've heard a lot lately from people who are also doing job interviews and it's a little bit perplexing to me. Like you could go Google common job interview questions right now and I'm sure you could get a litany of common questions that you're likely to get in a job interview. So part of your preparations for a job interview are to have answers to those common questions. What are these common questions you ask? The most common one that I think of and that I hear about a lot is tell us about a time that you made a mistake or faced a challenge and what you did to fix it 
and what you learned from it and how you'll never ever ever do it again? This is a pretty common question and one you should be prepared to answer substantively. It shows your potential employer a lot of character and that you can learn from your mistakes and take what you've learned and apply it to the next situation if you're able to describe a time when you faced a mistake. And if the challenge that you faced is that you misspelled something in a major report to the entire organization and it was really embarrassing and then you had to go back and apologize and make the change and then you promised to never ever misspell anything ever again, make sure that you didn't misspell something in your cover letter or your resume. True story. Lastly, you want to always be respectful and personable and professional in your job interview. You're trying to impress them. So if you mouth off or say something disrespectful, you're probably not going to get the job. What other ideas do you guys have about how to nail a job interview? And what stories of total epic fails do you have? I want to hear it all in comments. And if you've got other questions about job interviews or resumes or things I haven't covered, please let me know in comments or on Twitter. I'm always happy to answer questions the best I can. And as always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you share it with others and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to see you back here for more. Thanks for watching and happy interviewing!